Aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 316 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Hey, aloha everybody. I thought I would talk about CEO pay again today. I covered this topic uh, several months ago on a show that I called Math with Rocks. And we just worked out the numbers of how CEOs could still make a boatload of money, but the rest of the people in the organizational uh, ladder could make more money than they're making right now. Especially the people at the very bottom of the ladder, like uh, you know all the resistance that still has been in Congress to raising the minimum wage. And I'm really excited to see so much coverage of it because one of our uh, these magazines that we love to read is called The Week and they have this synopsis of all different news stories from around the world. They publish it every week. And they had a whole feature uh, last week on CEO pay and how actually now a lot of the larger investors, um, you know, are, it's very windy and there's all these people talking and whistling and everything. I don't know what's going on here today. Anyway. There is a lot of movement by uh, many different people to really address the CEO pay issue and there are shareholder initiatives that are developing and pressure that's being brought to bear on boards of directors who are the ones of course who ultimately approve these exorbitant pay packages. And then just this week Home Depot, you know, Nardelli CEO, the CEO, I forget his first name, Nardelli, uh, resigned. And you know his severance package was $200 million. So I hope when they start addressing CEO pay, they also address these so-called golden parachutes, so that you know when people basically get fired for, for 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 poor performance, that they surrender some of the negotiated benefits in their contract because it really doesn't make sense. You know, all the rest of us down the ladder, if we get fired for poor performance, we don't get to take all the bennies with us. So that's actually on the theme of optimism because I'm optimistic that things are in fact changing for the better. And that's a little reminder to each of you to please submit something for our optimism episode. Uh, all you have to do is something like this. Hi. I'm Roxanne, I'm from Kailua, Hawaii, and what I'm optimistic about is that people are waking up to the vast inequities of pay structure and that things are actually changing. See you later. So if you don't want to submit video, you can call the Skype line and leave your audio comment and we'll splice that in and that would be even better if you would send us a photograph, a little snapshot, because then we can put your picture on screen. You can be in costume and anonymous if you like. But anyway, the Skype is Roxanne Darling, and the phone number is 949-544-1456. Aloha, everybody. Have a great day.